Coach, after a couple close losses, teams can respond in different ways. For your group to respond in the way which it did tonight, just, just how proud are you of, of their effort? Extremely proud. I, I think they, like Joe said, we played with a sense of joy, but we also you know, played the right way. Uh, I think the ball was moving. We've defended and know, knowing what we're capable of doing. And we did that. We didn't try to do too much. We did exactly what the game plan said to do. And I, I think they did a great job of executing it. You know, Joe said that you guys had been playing good basketball the last few games, just couldn't find a way to finish. But to maintain control from the start to finish in a game like this and sort of reset, you know, what you're doing on the court, how can you take this in the final eight or nine games and, you know, learn from this and well it's interesting forward. like Mo said it the other day uh, in his interview he talked about the standard and the way in which we played uh, just because it doesn't come out on the winning end of it doesn't mean you're not playing good basketball um, so you stick with that process and that's what these guys did tonight and obviously we come out with the win but the the, the best part is that we played the right way and which we had been playing the right way in these, these other games as well it's just you don't come away with the win but you continue to learn in these close games that we had been playing um, and that's what that's a great lesson for a group that's continuing to grow continuing to how to learn how to win in this league how how much does it does it say that that this team was able to kind of stay stay that course so, you know it's it's you know we kind of you know we're in a results driven business it's it's you know wins and losses matter but to see that hey we're doing a lot of things right now, now we just have to you know do, keep doing it and then do maybe that little extra more than maybe we weren't what, what does it say about this team that they were able to do that against a team that you could easily overlook like Memphis it's growth of this group. I say it over and over again. Their ability to know and, and focus on the process over the results a lot of times because there's been games where we don't shoot the basketball well, but we're getting all the right looks with the right rhythm and the, and the flow of the offense. Uh, our defense has sustained us. Uh, but again, it's being able to hold the process and not worry about the results. But if you're doing the right things, you're playing the right way, it will bounce your way at some point. But you've got to stay the course. And this group has continued to do that no matter what's going on. Markel's obviously been through a lot this season. He entered 1 of 11 from three. For him to hit two triples tonight, just what can that do for his confidence as a shooter and moving forward? I think Markel continues to work. I think that's the that's the that's what's been consistent about what he's done. You know, injury, no injury, you know, maintenance and management. He's constantly just continued to work. Coach, strong game from Wendell Carter. Uh, mm -hmm. Talk to us about what you saw was working for him and what you want to see more of uh, from Wendell. I just thought he played with a, a, a focus and a determination, uh, ability to just go out there and just let the game come to him. Uh, but he, f he was just focusing more on the defensive end, which e let everything else flow. His teammates were finding him and just continuing to make the right play. Again, you just see the way he was with his intensity, his focus, his intention. I think that just continuing that for us is going to be huge. Coach, I remember talking to you in the preseason and you had great expectations for this team. How do you compare what you thought back then of what ha has happened in this year um, season? I think we're still growing. I think we know what we're capable of doing. Uh, it's going to be, it's going to come down to just a one game at a time mentality. Uh, but just the way in which the group continues to grow. Uh, if you if you told me where we are right now, you, you'd say you're not necessarily surprised because of what this group has said, what they believe in and what they want to do. But like we said before, it's not done. We've got continued work to do and we've got, you know, more games to come. Thank you. Coach, this is the 43rd win tonight. It's the most wins for the team in 13 years for any season. What does it mean to be the best magic team in this generation of magic fans? And how much is that fueling you guys in these last couple of games in the playoffs? You know, I really just think it's so, it's so exciting for this organization, for this fan base who has you know, obviously 13 years waited a long time to have a group of young men that represent the game the right way. They play for each other. They play for one another and the continuity in which they show. I just continue to think that it's, it's a joy to watch these guys play and c continue to support one another. But it says a lot about the camaraderie and the chemistry, not just, you know, on the court, but off the court as well. And I just, you have to give so much, you know, back to the fans that continue to support, you know, in the good and the bad, no matter what's happening. And this group has embraced that, you know, wholeheartedly. Thank you, guys. Ruin my bold spots. <laughs> Joe, 
Joe, after a few close losses, teams can respond in different ways. For your group to come out tonight and respond in the way which it did, you know, just how proud are you of the, of the group? Uh, yeah, I think I said to Dante at halftime, like I think the last couple of games, I think we had played pretty solid in those other games and obviously um, couldn't kind of finish them off down the stretch or, or, or stretch us throughout the game. So to, we were still playing well, but obviously now to, to kind of put it all together and, and obviously with the injuries that that, that group's got and um, it kind of makes it a little bit harder too. Um, they always play hard, they play the right way. Um, but we're able to yeah, make make a lot of shots and, and get the stops when we needed tonight. You get you said you were, you know, playing good basketball the last few games, just couldn't finish near the end. To have a performance like this where you maintain maintain control throughout the night, just what can that do for the team in this final stretch of the regular season? Yeah, I think we just, uh, like, as this year goes on, just finishing off um, playing our best basketball um, as we kind of finish out this last eight or nine games, whatever it is now. Um, and I do think we've played some, some really good basketball. Obviously, last night we get hit with a Kawhi ISO and a, and a Paul George ISO at the end of a game, which they've probably done a million times. And, and we've, we're getting used to those situations, what we want to do, the spacing and, and all of that. So... Um, I mean, we've got seven, eight games to to, fin- to, to figure it out. And um, I'm, I'm, like I said, confident in that group that we'll, we'll figure it out and um, we'll, we'll keep getting this, keep getting better for this last eight and um, whatever happens after that. You mentioned that, that you felt like the team was playing pretty good even during during losing streak. Defense especially was, was yeah. really dialed in. What, what does it say about where, where do you feel like this team's defense is at and especially coming in with a performance like this to, to, to you know bury a team like, like Memphis? I mean, I, th- I think all year we've been, I think we're top, whatever for a reason um i think pretty consistently throughout the year that's what we've we've kind of hung our hat on is is the defensive end and like uh, what has it been like 97 90 something like there's been a lot of um low scoring games and um it is a credit to our defense and obviously the other end we've got to we've got to figure out what we're doing sometimes um sometimes it's purely we just don't make some shots sometimes it's the turnovers um but going forward here, we, we, we know that defensively is, is where it's at for us. And um, if, if we do that and, and hold strong on that end, we'll, we'll be pretty we'll be good, good to finish out this year. Joe, recently oh. Mo's talked about, one more, Mo's talked about uh, A.B. and his maturity on and off the court and his growth. What have you seen from A.B. since his time coming into the league to now with him, you know, just on and off the court? Yeah, I mean, he's he's in a, I mean, it's a, a probably a tough spot. You you play some nights, you don't. Obviously, um, the 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 best thing is is the the daily work he puts on in, in behind kind of behind the scenes. He's there every day, um, working on whatever whatever his coaches are, are getting him to work on, and then he he does show that when he's in the game, he he's he's getting better and better. Um, so obviously, I understand it's a it is kind of tough sometimes. Um, but when you're a rookie, you come into a, a pretty good team, um, and, and he's been great. His his attitude towards it, uh, like I said, the daily work he puts on puts in. Um, I mean, there's a reason he was the whatever six picky. <laughs> I knew he was high, whatever pick he was. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a credit to him. Joe, um, you're one of the veterans on the team with playoff experience. Um. Thanks for that. <laughs> Um, as a veteran, what do you see the areas that your team need to improve in order to have a good run in the playoffs? Uh, we we got to figure that out first. Sorry, coach, I stole your time. I told him it was either before you or I'm not doing it. So. Ask the same questions. Do you want me to do yours? Yeah. Uh, I think we uh, the guys played with joy and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, we should, I obviously it, it is. The reality is it's a pretty tight race at the moment and, and we've just got to handle our own business and, and obviously get there first. I think for this this last eight or whatever games, um, defensively just keeping keeping on what we're doing, tightening things up, knowing our rotations, knowing all the little things, and, and then offensively just knowing where we're going at the end of games. Um, last few games have been close, um, but we just got to know what we're doing that last two, three minutes of a, of a quarter or, or the fourth quarter. And um, like I said about last night, that's they knew what they were doing. Um, I think we had two turnovers. They had two buckets. Um, that's a veteran team that's that's kind of been there. So, um, like I said, I've got the, the absolute confidence we, we'll get there um, and we'll be fine. But, but obviously, over this next couple of weeks leading into that, we, we'll we'll knuckle in, get that get that sorted, and um, yeah, hope it hope it goes really well. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Anytime. 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 <laughs> Did 
Dale, after a couple of close losses, teams can respond in different ways. For your group to respond in which the way in which it did tonight, what do you think it says about about your team as a whole? Um, it just shows that we're resilient. Um, you know, we look at this game as uh, we we try not to put too much um, focus on on each game. You know, after a game is played, you know, we kind of look at making sure that we play to our standard, win, lose, and draw. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, we, we dropped three that, you know, a very winnable game. So we kind of look at those. We, we use that as, as as fuel going into this game tonight. And um, I think it was a great opportunity just to get our swagger back. I think our swag has been kind of off. Um, yeah, that's really about it. Last night, you didn't have your best individual performance, of course, obviously. Yeah. But was it in your mind to just bounce back tonight? I mean, your seventh double-double, just what was working for you? Um. You know, I just I just tried to find ways to affect the game in in different ways and letting the offense come to me. Um, you know, I feel like I've been playing pretty good defense, um, you know, rebounding wall, rebounding the ball um, somewhat well, um, but offensively I've just been struggling. So um, going into this game, I just told myself like I'm just gonna you know try to grab every rebound I can and just play lockdown defense, and then whatever happens on offense happens. So. Um, you know, and I, and I also got a, a just fantastic teammates who kind of knew that I was struggling, and you know, they just helped me to get more involved in the offense. So I give a lot, a lot of credit to all of those guys. Yeah, uh, regardless of the results, you played a lot of games lately, and one last night, uh, a game last night to, to come out with that much energy. How do you, uh, the, the whole team to come out with that much energy? How do you account for that? Um, you know, we, the the loss kind of gave us energy. Um, you know the back-to-backs we've kind of struggled with um, throughout this this uh, this past year. So, um, you know, we're coming down to the nitty-gritty. You know, every game is is very important for us um, as we try to get good position and going into the playoffs. So, um, I mean, we saw that as opportunity, just you know, a game for us to steal and um, just continue continue to uh, you know, play to the magic standard. I know you've been talking all year about, you know, getting to that next step and going to the playoffs. Now that the carrot is basically in front of you at this point, is the, you know, is the vibe around the locker room a little bit different? Is it the same? Is, what What do you think of it? Um, you know, from from when I first got here to now, it's definitely a, a whole completely different vibe. You know, if I'm just being honest with you, last year, you know, guys were playing out there summer around this time. Um, well, not last year because we was trying to, we was fighting for the plan. But, you know, my, my first two years, it was, you know, guys was playing their summers. You know, guys weren't necessarily taking the games as serious as we were supposed to. Um, but now it's it's like, you know, it's a whole other season we're preparing for. You know, just you know, uh, sharpening our tools. You know, um, both off- offensively and defensively, um, and just being being prepared. You know, for whoever we we got in that first round. So um, it's definitely a whole different vibe. You know, every game is is very important for us, and we all know that. And you know, the vibe is you know we got to win. You know, continue to win, so we we're good going into the playoffs. Giving ourselves a, a good opportunity going to the playoffs. Kind of kind of mentioned sharpening the tools. Um, even with the three losses, the defense played really really well in those games. What does it say about where? What does it say about where this defense is at? That you have another strong defensive performance, and that you come out and play with that kind of same intensity against you know maybe an opponent that would be easy to look past after the last three games. Um, you know, it's defense is all effort. You know, um, offensively guys go through uh, go through slumps like that's. That's something that you can't really change. Um, but one thing that you can always can, can control is your effort on the defensive end. I think we did, we've been doing a really good job of that from the, from the beginning of the year. You know, we told ourselves that that was going to be our staple, our standard. That every game we're going to make every shot tough. We're going to challenge every shot. Um, you know, strength the court. You know, contest all shots. So that's something that you know we put a lot, a lot of thought, a lot of effort into. And then offense is going to come. You know, we got a lot of offensively talented players, offensively talented players on our team. So, um, you know, we just got to stay resilient. You know that. You know, we put the work in every day. Like, you know, everybody see the games that we play, but nobody sees what we do. You know, behind the scenes. So, you know, we continue to do that. I feel like you know everything is going to click at the right time for us. Thanks, Dale. Yeah. Thank you, everyone.